Imagine you're walking up a steep hill, when suddenly you feel dizzy and develop a crushing pain in your chest. And then you realize you're having a heart attack. The next thing you know, you're in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. Well, it turns out the pain in your chest wasn't actually a heart attack, but something called angina, an indicator that your heart is beating too slowly. This is a problem because your heart is unable to pump enough oxygen through your body to keep up with your everyday activities. The solution is to implant an artificial, artificial pacemaker to increase your heart rate. But the problem with pacemakers is that they're embedded in your chest, which requires surgery. They are set to maintain a specific heart rate, which makes exercising hard. And occasionally the batteries need to be replaced, which also requires surgery. But what if I told you that you don't need an artificial pacemaker because every one of you in this room has your own natural pacemaker? We all have a group of cells in our hearts that controls our heart rate. Within a group of cells contains a protein called the pacemaker protein. During exercise, like walking up a hill, your heart rate increases because the adrenaline in your body produces a special molecule called CAMP that binds to the pacemaker protein. However, during relaxation, your heart rate decreases because less CAMP is being made so less camp binds to the protein. Now what's interesting is that when camp and your pacemaker protein come together, this reaction gives off heat. Although small, this heat is key to, to determining important elements of this interaction, which will give me clues to designing a heart rate increasing drug. Now, my research is important and novel because I have figured out a way to measure this heat, which has never been done before. So far, I've measured this heat using a machine which tells me how strongly camp binds to the pacemaker protein. I've also swapped in and swapped out pieces of the protein to figure out which pieces bind more strongly to camp and which ones bind more weakly to camp. From this information, I hope to create a roadmap for pacemaker protein drug development so a person suffering from low heart rates can have an alternative to pacemaker implantation surgery. Thank you.